I would say, so I'm going to go ahead and give my advice first. I feel like go with your heart. And I tell, so I'm a Jaguar ambassador on campus, meaning that I give tours to a lot of students who are deciding if they want to come to, you know, Southern and different HBCUs. Um, I would just say go with your heart. Wherever the vibe is, don't go to a college that you, that once you get there, it feels kind of eerie. Don't go there because that's not where your heart is. Um, as well as while you're still in high school, making sure that you work to set yourself up to make college easy for yourself. For example, we did dual enrollment. So dual enrollment is a big thing at Heidelberg where, and a lot of different schools in this area where it gives you a head start for college. Um, one thing that I wish I had known now is I actually would have taken more courses than I did because it did set me up and I did enter nursing a year early. So I was able to apply and get into nursing early because I did those dual enrollment. So I would definitely say taking dual enrollment, having fun while you can in high school because you don't get that time back. Once you go to college, you're on your own, you're making your own decisions um, and life may get hard. So just having fun while you're in high school, still under, under your parents' care and just living. Also, because a lot of times we're so into like, go hard, go hard, go hard, go hard. That way I can set myself up to be well. But if I had done something different as well, I probably would have sat back and been a child for longer. So that's pretty much it for me. Um, The transition from high school to college, I would say stop being comfortable in adults cradling you. Because once you get to college, it's your decision. It's your choice if you want to wake up and go to class because regardless, the professors are getting paid. It's your choice if you're going to study for that test because regardless, that's your grade. And I would say take into consideration that if your parents are paying, know that you're there for a reason. I will also say some advice. Find your people early, but find a group, group, good group of people to get you through because you're going to need those people in college. Right. The people that you hang around in college can't make or break like your college experience. So that is a big thing because I know for a fact until I found my group, it was kind of like sometimes you may get lonely. Sometimes you may feel like that's not where you're supposed to be. A lot of imposter syndrome if you're not, if you don't have your group. But now that I have like my group, college has been a blast. You understand, you get to learn more about your school. You're more comfortable speaking to people when you know you can come back to your group and be like, hey, this didn't go well or this did go well. So your group is a big thing. I would say homesickness in the beginning is normal. Um, I know, I, me personally, I moved six hours away from home. So at first I was very homesick, but then I actually did start going out and meeting people and it made it better. So just go out and find your people. Right. Mm -hmm.